Hey y'all, this week's quick tip is about creating that custom header in Google Classroom that you see right here. And you can do this in a lot of different places, and I've shared this before, but today we're gonna talk about how to use Canva because Canva has pre-made templates specifically for Google Classroom. So if you start in Canva and you just start searching Google Classroom, it will pop up Google Classroom header, and it's already pre-sized perfectly for you. So when you click on that, you'll see all of the many different templates that you can use and customize to fit your classroom. So there are you know, templates for pretty much any style classroom you can think of. Once you find something that you like, just click on it and you can come in here and edit this and make this your own. So maybe instead of saying welcome to science class, I'm gonna say welcome to Miss Bell's class. And again, editing inside Canva, super easy. You can add more images, take some of these away, change it, change colors, change the background. Um, you can see these are all separate little pieces, each one of these. And this is the color. So for instance, I could come up here and make this a darker green and you can see how that changes things just a little bit. Um, but like, like I said, you can take the time to customize this. This is really up to you. Then come up here to download and you're gonna download it as the suggested PNG file. So now that we've downloaded, we're gonna hop on over to the class I have set up in Google Classroom, and you can see I just have the default header that Google Classroom chose for me. Click on this Customize button, and then click Upload Photo. And then this is where you're just gonna drag that image that you just downloaded from Canva. And now we just need to make sure that we click and drag the edges of this to get the entire image uploaded. Click Select. And now we have updated that banner, header, whatever you want to call it. Now, the biggest question I get is how do I get rid of that, that shadow, that, that dark color over it? You can't, at least not right now. Um, that's the way it's designed. I think it's actually designed that way to make it easier to see things on the page. But um, just FYI, you can't actually get rid of that shadow at the moment. So super easy. Go check out all of the templates in Canva and be sure that you check out our two-part series on how to use the Canva templates in your classroom. And if you like this tip, click that thumbs up and subscribe to the ShakeUp Learning channel. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, y'all.